ABB's Final Thoughts Tech Special, Two Generations of DIY Teleprompters. While doing research for my previous podcast, I stumbled into a rabbit hole of numerous DIY teleprompter videos and realized that I had never posted the DIY teleprompter video that I had made. The first one was from 2016 when I had just changed to a ginormous 12-inch iPad Pro, and the second one was from 2018 when I switched back to a smaller 10.5-inch iPad Pro. Hope that this helps your video making exploration. Enjoy! Triple C is here from JBB's Final Thoughts, and I have a little tutorial that I want to do for you today. Uh, sometime last year, I wanted to put together a teleprompter, and I looked through a lot of YouTube videos on how people were putting together teleprompters, and my, I was using a uh, this little Logitech um, webcam as my camera, so I didn't need the big frame that you see on a lot of teleprompters holding a large DSLR, that sort of thing, because I was just using the webcam. So I came up last year with this idea of using um, basically a photo box. Now, at the time, the, that particular project last year was built around my iPad mini. And so because the iPad mini was so much smaller, I could use a photo box like this. Uh, basically what I did was I have a photo box like this, and then I could, when in, when in usage, just put it in, uh, put it up like this, and then I uh, used some form, uh, foam board to put this together, and I figured out the angle for this little uh, piece of glass here. It's uh, basically a, your basic picture frame, and I would clip the webcam here on this back ledge, and then stick this inside the box, and that, of course, uh, prevented any kind of light bleed. And then I would stick my uh, iPad mini down here and using a teleprompter app, it would shine the text up against this glass and uh, I could use it as a teleprompter. And I used it for uh, season two, season two, episode one. That's, uh, I used that teleprompter for that. So that is well and good, but I have since sold my iPad mini and bought a jumbo iPad Pro. And so I'm obviously going to need to uh, increase the size of my teleprompter box. And to do that, I have mo some more uh, foam board and uh, I have a picture frame because um, basically I need just the glass at an angle. And then this time I decided, because we're dealing with larger sizes and I, you know, again, I'm not dealing with DSLR. So I decided to use this um, storage cube. So the idea being, create the storage cube, kind of like you see in this picture right here, and inside I would put in the um, the uh, foam board, kind of forming the frame like I did with the pre previous version, and then have the glass at an angle so I could just slide that right on in, in the same way that I'm sliding in uh, the guts of, of this version. So I'd make, a, you know, obviously a much larger version to accommodate the larger iPad Pro, and the larger picture frame, but then the same idea of having my um, webcam kind of stuck here on the back. So that's what this project is going to entail, and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to time lapse mode so you don't have to sit through however long it takes me to get through this project. So uh, we'll see you on the other side. here. Uh, the construction of my new teleprompter is complete and here it is. So ginormous box and I placed my iPad in there and I don't know that you can with the light shining in here it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna go ahead and start. This is not my normal. Um, you probably can barely see the text in there. Anyway so the idea is, is in the back of that box would be my camera and then I would be seeing the script as it scrolled across the um, across the the glass, and then you know 
but, but you can see this is <laughs> kind of ginormous. Um, but then the iPad's ginormous, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see how that works out. Um, it actually was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. And uh, onward and upward. So um, thank you for sharing along. Um, like I said, all I needed was this cube, this organizer cube, some uh, foam board, and, a, and basically a, a glass uh, picture frame. And uh, with that, with that, I have created then this uh, teleprompter box. So, catch you next time. Bye bye. Jim Steels here. I posted an image of my uh, homemade teleprompter not too long ago, and I got a lot of comments about what's this about. And so I decided to make this uh, really quick video on how I made it my teleprompter and how it actually works. Basically, um, I have two versions. I've got the smaller version that I just created because I'm using a 10.5 um, iPad Pro. And the prior version that I made, much bigger uh, because I used to have the 12 inch iPad Pro. And it's basically the same idea as you have some kind of box. And inside the box, I had created the inner part which is basically a foam, you know, black foam board, black foam board, and then inside you have it's a uh, basically a um, glass picture frame. Okay, so I have this, you know, this is kind of like the the body, and then a black picture frame, which is you can barely see, which is I guess a good idea. And then in the back, I would clip my uh, my webcam. So I've got this little. Logitech webcam that I clip to the back, stick this inside the box, and then inside the box I stick my um, my iPad. So here's the, the version that I'm using right now, and because it's smaller, I didn't have to use this jumbo box. I'm using your basic um, photos uh, box. I kind of measured it out, and then inside the photo box, I've got the black foam board. So here's the black foam board. I you know just you know grabbed a piece and then inside the black foam board I have this uh, piece of glass and the piece of glass is at an angle the um, webcam clip right back here and then the idea is you want it to be dark enough so that uh, and here's some software that I got that is basically the teleprompter you know you get a chance to um, write your text into uh, right now it's got the um, I think the Gettysburg address is, is on it right now. Um, basically, write your text into the app, and then you stick your uh, iPad inside of the, the box, and then, so then I go ahead, and you can see, so you can see the text down here, and then it'll project right up there, and then with the camera right behind it, I'm looking straight at the camera as I'm reading the text. Okay, so then I just gotta need to find a way to position this high enough or close enough for me to be able to, you know, do the on-screen stuff. So that's basically, in a very quick nutshell, my homemade teleprompter. Because I'm using a webcam, I can use this arrangement. What I was looking at before was people that were using, uh, you know, uh, DSLRs in video mode because it does tend to be a, a really good picture, and they would have to have a large apparatus back here to hold the camera. Um, and that's generally where things got really complicated. So me using this, um, you know, relatively inexpensive webcam allowed me to just, you know, just make sure I have enough space behind, uh, you know, kind of in the very, very back of my box, then I can go ahead and use this as my teleprompter. So uh, there you go. That's my little showing what, oh, uh, showing what I use for my uh, teleprompter. And hope you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later. Bye. If you could do me a favor and subscribe to either my blog or to my YouTube channel, that would be grand. If you found this on Facebook and click the link to my blog to watch this, please scroll to the right of the blog page and find the black followjobbustillos.com via email box, enter your email address, and click the follow button. Then whenever I post a blog post, you'll get a message in your email inbox. If you are a WordPress user, you can scroll down to the blue followjobustillos.com button, 
and my blog will be added to the blogs that you follow when you are using your WordPress app. If you just want the video podcast, your best option is to follow me via YouTube. Click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Then you'll get an email message from YouTube whenever I post a new video podcast. Alas, thanks to Facebook's precious little algorithm, it's not enough to be my friend on Facebook. You may or may not see the link to my podcast when they're posted because Facebook is just special that way. So, if you're interested in getting these podcasts when they come out, it works best if you either subscribe to my blog or to my YouTube channel or via your podcatching application or all of them. Enjoy. Thank you.